Hi guys, Chucky Boy here, bringing you a little different clip just before we get into the first game. Now, as you know, if you've watched this series, I've asked for your suggestions for players and things like that. And I, I've got a few in, basically, so I just thought I'd take you to my favourites list. What I've done is, if you remember, at the end of the last episode, we managed to sign Aaron Gunnarsson from Cardiff. So he was our first signing, ready for January. Um... And basically what I've done is I've got a few bids in, I think. Let me just go check. Yeah, we had a, I had a request from some people to go for Anthony Pilkington of Norwich and George Boyd of Hull City. Now, what I said about these transfers from you guys is if you make a suggestion, I will make a bid no matter what. So if even if there's like a 0% chance of him coming, I'll still make the bid because that's what I asked you guys to do. I asked you guys to make the suggestions and I would make the bid no matter what. So let's just check. Oh, we can't actually check on these, what the percentage is like, but I very much doubt if we're going to get these two. I'd be surprised, but you never know. So we're going to favourites. What I've done is just now I have basically gone through all my suggestions that I've had since the last video. And I have favoured every single player that I could find. Some of them I couldn't find because obviously I'm using... I'm not forced to be using the same patch as you guys that make the suggestions. So I found everyone that I could. And I just thought I'd put them on the favourites list so we can see. Now let's just go, go through and see what the percentages are. See if there's anybody that might actually show up. So we've got a 1%. We've got a 2%. Another two. See, I put this goalkeeper on here. I found him myself, basically. Now, I was going to start at the back and went my way forwards. So I was looking for a decent goalkeeper that I could have for a few years. So he's a 72 rated keeper. He's 28, so he's got maybe four or five years. Sometimes even longer than that, just depends on when he decides to retire. But the big thing is, he's really cheap. And, you know, his stats aren't too bad for what we look for in a goalkeeper so i did this one myself uh, i haven't made a bid for him yet i just put him on the favorites so i knew exactly where he was so we've got carvajal who as we know has i believe gone to real madrid in real life so i very much doubt if we're going to be able to sign him on the game but he's very good and very young so well you never know another two percent there another two percent see we've got one here greg wilde of bolton wonders now we've just played bolton wonders in a game and Greg Wilde did cause me a few problems in the past. So, I mean, he's very young. He's only 64, but he can play in several different positions. So, and there's a 98% 98, 98 chance of signing him. And it's not a lot of money. So, that would be, that be one that we could possibly get in. So, let's go down to the last one. Another 2% there. So... As you can see, there's not a massive chance of signing any of these players, but I will give it a go. I will try it, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay, guys, so let's go into a game. So here we go. We've got the first game of this episode. It's a home game against Bolton Wanderers. Now, if you remember from the last video also, we've finally got our first victory of the season which was followed by the second victory. We've had two nice results for a change um, instead of struggling this season, so it was nice. So let's just hope that we can carry that sort of thing on. Now, like I said before this match started, I played a couple of exhibition games and Bolton just happened to be one of my teams that I played against and there were certain players in this team that gave me some real trouble and Greg Wilde was one of them so that's why we made him a transfer target plus it was mentioned to me by somebody else now I don't think he was actually playing in this game which was quite nice but obviously we've already gone 1-0 down so um, it, other players take take over from him really this, this game yet again We've had a few chances in this game, but not many. It was kind of more like the first few that we had, the first few games that we had. And right here, this was quite strange. This was a cross and a header, and 
it was a decent save, but um, I tried a different tactic with the headers this time, and for some reason they worked. I don't. I wasn't doing anything differently. I just, I, uh, I was trying driven crosses, and for some reason, from a driven cross, the headers seemed to work out quite better. So maybe I should try that again in the future. So something to think about, maybe. So there we go, the end of the first game of this episode, and it's a loss, unfortunately. We couldn't carry on with the momentum from the last few games. Like I said, there, weren't, there were a few chances, but nothing too clear. That's why there weren't many highlights, and as you can see, we are still in 16th place in the table. To be fair, I, w I thought we'd be bottom after the start of the season, so I'm quite happy with being 16th at the moment. And we go into, as we go into the second game, we're away this time. Uh, we're away at Burnley. Now, I couldn't get the kits to match up right, so obviously Burnley are in their away kit and I'm in our home kit, so it's a little bit weird. But that was the best option we had, really. And as you can see, yet again, we still have custom stadiums. I'm not sure how long this is going to last for, but I can't exactly remember the exact number of stadiums I have on the game for championship teams, but I've got most of them, I think, so... And yet again, this game is another one like the last one where we have a few chances, but they seem to have more, and inevitably, that's the way this season's going to be, I think. I'm always going to be the underdog in most of these games, just because of the team that I've got. I mean, we have got, obviously we've got a transfer in now, and we've got, you know, some more hopefully going to come in. But with these players right now, you know, I'm struggling. But we've got a couple of wins under our belt, obviously. But these chances, really, against a better team, we would be getting annihilated right now. But they just keep missing the target. Or my keeper managed to get a save or whatever. So we're, we're surviving at the minute. But it's not looking good. I think the big idea at the beginning of this series was to try and get promotion as soon as possible. Obviously, it's not going to happen this season now. With another draw like that, though, it's not a loss. I'll take a draw away from home any day of the week. So it's it's kind of good that I'm not losing all the games. But I would like to pick up some more points. Definitely more points than, than that. So yet again, we seem to have made that position our own this season. We are still 16th. And this is the final game of the episode this week. We've got an away game at Watford at Vicarage Road and yet again Custom Stadium. I'm going to keep going on about this because for me this is one of the big aspects of this game for me on the PC. There's so many stadiums available that you can put in the game. I mean fair enough they might not look perfect but they I mean to me they look some of them look a little bit cartoonish but I think they still look Every bit as good as the in-game stadium editor ones that you can put in the game on console. So I'll take those any day. And we go behind again. Seems to be a theme in all these videos. Definitely seems to be a theme in these videos. We do concede a lot of goals first. There's not many games where we go. I know the Blackpool game we went one up fairly quickly. But apart from that one, I don't remember too many games where we've gone ahead. We always seem to be fighting from behind, definitely. But like I said, it's a struggle, but that's the beauty of this game. When you first start with this default team, it's hard work. But it makes you it makes you play the game properly. And believe it or not, you might be awful at it, but still enjoy it. And this was mental by the way. I tried to clear that ball, as you can see, at least twice. We had a big hoof there and I tried to get a tackle in here and it just ran to their player and it's just one of those occasions where you are just praying and hoping that it doesn't go in the back of the net because that would have been another defeat which we didn't manage to avoid anyway so didn't really work out I'm guessing we're going to be 16th still because like I said that seems to be our position yep yeah, and I was correct 16th so there we go guys, end of the video now and it leaves me enough time to say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode hopefully.